Ask Reddit, if you were a villain and could choose any animal to fight by your side, what animal would you choose and why? Komodo Dragon. Actually, the Komodo Dragon would be the main villain and I'd be the companion animal. I can see it. The hero beats you down and you laugh and say, oh, you thought I was the boss. And the Komodo stands on two legs and starts laughing. And I don't know if you've seen a Komodo stand up, but they do it a lot to fight other Komodo, so, you know, that can't be good news. A raccoon. Better yet, make it a pack of raccoons, each with its own specific skill set. I read that wrong at first. I was trying to figure out why trash pandas needed a skillet. Sea slug. Nobody would be expecting that. Hermacinda crassicornis. Terror of the intertidal. A silverback gorilla. He can provide close range protection while I attack from a distance. Also, gorillas can tear the arms off a human pretty quickly, lift cars, and even cuddle kittens. Hmm, excellent. All three will be important in my quest for world domination. If only real animals are allowed, an elephant. If made up animals are allowed, a demon elephant. Ancient psychic tandem war elephant. Yep, I was gonna add that. Glad I checked first. Honestly, one of the most creative fantasy creatures out there. A cape buffalo. They're massive tanks and they also understand the concept of revenge. Supposedly, they can remember an individual years after being wounded, threatened, and will do everything they can to hunt down and kill the person. And also, they're the closest thing to a minotaur I could have as a real world animal. They're essentially minotaurs, but the other half is also Tor. Black Panther. Lethal, stealthy, agile, badass as Checks all the villain criteria. A rhino. They can flip a car with basically no effort. Hippos are basically the same, except for marine, and instead of one big horn, they have a trash compactor for a face. An African trash compactor is my new favorite name for hippos. A goose. Specifically this one goose at my local golf course I always feed crackers to when I go by the lake on the third hole. He's cool with me and I'm pretty sure he'd be down to mess up as long as I provided crackers. So your supervillain name would be Maverick. Only if he plans to eject a goat out of a jet that breaks its neck. Canadian Goose. Just one is fine. Dude, it's supposed to be a sidekick, not the actual villain. This is going to be a Sith-like situation where the apprentice offs its master. Grizzlies. They're tanks. A full-grown exemplary grizzly bear is probably worth a lot more than any who goes face to it. And they look cuddly. Why not polar? They would melt too fast. A white tiger because they look awesome. It could also camouflage and help you take over the Arctic. That place is pretty much up for grabs right now and in a few decades will be prime real estate. Animal from Muppet Babies. He seems like he's been through a few fights. I love that you explicitly want the baby version and not like Animal from Muppets. Courage, the cowardly dog. The hero lies broken on the ground, gun pressed against their forehead. The things I do for love. Bang. You think you can just keep scaring this little pup over and over again, don't you? A crab named Citizen Snips. An elephant who never forgets to kill. A badger with a troubled past. A raven because ravens are awesome. And then anytime it did something cool, you could say, that's so raven. And if it killed your enemy, you could end with nevermore. Pangolin. Also, it's an adorable endangered species. Anyone who attacks it is the real villain. Pangolin use sneeze. The killer rabbit of Serbanon. Only a holy hand grenade can stop us now. Black cat. You just can't be a villain without a black cat. Modern villains tend to go with white cats. Imagine tracking the villain down to the end of a pier on a gray rainy day. The waves are crashing and she's completely alone, out of options, nowhere to go. When suddenly, she turns around and she makes a motion with her hand, and a number of Lovecraftian tentacles shoot out from the dark waters, some swirling in the air, others grabbing your companions and dragging them off the dock and into the abyss as they frantically, pleadingly try to reach out for anything to help. Only you remain. You draw your weapon. 
giant squid. Does it have to be a real animal? If so, I pick a capybara, giant guinea pig friend for life. If not, I pick a dragon. Those things can mess you up. I feel like this movie ends with the hero slaying the villain and adopting the capybara because they are so chill and everyone loves them. But the capybara slowly and subtly pushed the heroes towards villainy because he was the real villain all along. A velociraptor. You didn't say the animal can't be extinct. A velociraptor is roughly the size of a turkey. If you want something similar to what was seen in Jurassic Park, except even bigger, you can go with a euthoraptor. Wolverine. What's the most appealing thing about wolverines? Huge claws and teeth, super aggressive, fast moving, like a honey badger. Fictional or non-fictional? If fictional, I would choose the Chimera from the I Am Number 4 series. A shape-shifting dog would be pretty dope to have as a villain. If non-fictional, I would choose a Tinta Oba. A giant slithering snake would for sure be useful in situations where I have to strike fear in people. Gonna go with polar bear or tiger. Pretty much the only animals that consider themselves above us on the food chain. I see you have never met a chihuahua. A Terescu. That is the correct answer. Yeah, until a dragolich pops up. Or maybe that's just me. A polar bear. Or a honey badger. The first one because it's fearsome. The second because of the memes. A polar bear or honey badger. The first one because it's fearsome. The second because it's fearless. A cute little puppy. I would use it as a shield and who from the good guys would hurt an innocent puppy, huh? Or wear baby armor. I thought about the baby too, but they asked for an animal, so I assumed humans are not allowed. A rat killed two thirds of Europe. Actually, it was the fleas on the rats. Get yourself some villainous fleas. How about an Ebola monkey? Panther, because it's good enough for Skeletor, it's good enough for me. Flamingo, as people are confused about why there's a random flamingo running around, I would have already aimed my shot and would be ready to fire. A flamingo named Gladys. I just have this mental image of you being cornered by the good guy, and then just as he's about to shoot you, now Gladys, and your flamingo jumps at the hero who shoots Gladys dead, but you have enough time to shoot him too. You then fall to your knees and hold your dead flamingo in your arms and scream at the sky, Gladys, no! Assuming I could train it well, a spitting cobra, sneaky, quiet, disruptive, and deadly when necessary. Get a sea snake. Those things make death by Black Widow look slow and pleasant. An ordinary platypus with a fedora. Perry the platypus. I was scrolling for this answer. Bats. Bats are cute. Plus they could just fly into my enemy's mouth and bam, coronavirus. Or work as spies or train them to drop bombs. But yeah, they adorably hang under my evil cap and fly out when I need to make a dramatic gesture. A penguin, because it's cute and waddles. Gunther. Sloth. Once I capture the secret agent, I won't have to build an elaborate kill the hero slowly machine. I will just tell the sloth to stab them to death. I was thinking of a sloth as well, but just because I like to take my sweet time. I've wanted a chameleon for 14 years. If my only chance to have one is being a supervillain, then sign me the hell up. When your main objective isn't being a villain, but getting a pet. Get a chameleon, man. Follow your dreams. Eagle. Among the strongest eyes in the animal kingdom. Can spot a rabbit from 3.2 kilometers away. Will give me the best advanced warning for any approaching heroes, and I can plan accordingly. And if you get caught, the eagle can pick up a kid and you can say, So, what will it be? Me or the kid? I like where your mind is at with my choice.